Hey guys, Dave from Wolf Art Hobbying here, and today we're going to take a look at painting the Scorzer Skirmisher's Blade. Uh, this is the next biggest piece on the model, and for his color I wanted to go with a blue steel kind of effect. So how I get this effect is I'm going to come in with a 2 to 1 mixture of Rune Fang Steel to one Vallejo model color gunmetal blue. Uh, gunmetal blue is very dark when it dries so I wanted to uh, lighten it up a lot that's why I'm putting the two to one mixture I'll give it a nice bright blue without destroying the metallic look of it so we're just gonna come in here with our base coating brush and we're just gonna base coat the whole blade I'm not worrying about those little ringlets on the back of the blade there as uh, I will be painting over those in the final touches of the model um, as well with the handle, I'm going to come in that a little later. Uh, it is thinned out with a little bit of uh, Lemain medium, so I will have to come in with uh, a couple coats um, to get it. But as you can see here, it's got that nice shiny blue to it. It's not as bright as the camera shows here uh, on the tabletop. It is, uh, it is darker, but it's not so dark that you can't tell the blue. Um, from say a, a black or a dark dark metal uh, the reason I want to go with blue is uh, I felt that silver again with all the gray in the model the silver would just kind of blend with it too much so I wanted the blade to stick out as it is a massive blade it is very imposing and I wanted that to show on the model so again just with our base coat brush coming in here and doing the back as well Being very mindful of the gauntlet as I don't want to do uh, any cleanup work on that as it is completed. I'll be getting the little handle uh, pieces that attach the sword later on in, in the painting process as well. So I'm just cleaning up uh, my brush strokes here as they did get a little sloppy and because I want a smooth finish, got to make sure you're mindful of your brush strokes. So just coming in close to the leg here. Um, you gotta be careful here again because that blue will show up if you do happen to slop over onto the leg so just be very careful when you are painting close to the model if you don't want to do any cleanup work later on so the blue is kind of really starting to show now uh, again it will take me multiple coats to get a good finish on it So here's the blade now, uh, it has two coats on it, uh, very nice blue. So what I'm going to come in and do now is I'm just doing the edge of the blade here where it gets to sh a more sharper point. I'm going to make that lighter and I'm going to leave the dark blue in the middle here, um, typically of what you see with swords. Uh, so my mixture is now a 3 to 1, 3 rune fang steel to 1 gunmetal blue. Um, and this gives it a nice brighter blue. Uh, it's hard to see here. Um, the camera white balance kind of doesn't really show it, but it does give it a nice lighter metallic blue color. And just getting the back blade here. As you can see here, I've gone and done the, the rest of the blade. Uh, you can see the difference now how it's more of a of a silvery blue than just a straight metallic blue. So getting just the back parts of the blade here uh, gives it a lot more depth. You could take this a little higher if you wanted to, um, but again, tabletop standard in my case, I'm not going crazy with my highlights here. Uh, just want to give a little bit more depth and definition to the blade. So my next highlight and my last highlight is just going to be the front part here and probably just the edges. So with that I'm coming in with just straight Ruin Fang steel now. Um, as again I'm just going to be doing the edges and a little bit in the middle just uh, where I feel the light would catch. Uh, again I could have layered, uh, I could have done maybe a 4 to 1 and layer it up a little bit more but um, as there are six of these guys um, plus the females I didn't really want to spend too much time on highlighting and layering the the blade itself so as you can see here just catching the edges uh, and in that middle part between the two notches of the sword and a little bit higher uh, where the bend in the sword kinda comes I'm going to catch uh, more of the edges 
uh, just to give it again more depth definition on the tabletop so that it stands out more and coming on the back just cleaning up the blade here uh, as with doing the just the edge kind of slopped over on the other side so clean it up make it look nice with a nice transition uh, what you could do too to blend all the colors a little later on is go in with a blue ink wash uh, to kind of just tie in all the blues together um, but I kind of liked how it looks here so that's pretty much it for the blade um, I liked how it turned out uh, so if you like the video comment subscribe uh, follow me on Facebook as I will be posting uh, when new videos go up and some pictures of my work in progress uh, and again guys thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day